topic on technology implementation in agriculture and food processing and fish production. Our chief guest is Mr. R. S. Gopalan. Sir, I welcome to you to the this function. I uh, so welcome to Mr. Sanjeev Chadha to this function. I request Mr. P. Krishna Mohan, Director of Fisheries. I welcome to him to this function. And now I welcome to all my dignified participants and guests for this uh, function. The rise in productivity and value addition to our food produced have been our targets so that this agriculture poverty is well met. We are at a juncture where there are rapid changes in the upper and middle class about choice of food and there is no choice at the level of the poor who are joining in larger number in the lines of BPL. But with this changing pattern of consumption, agriculture has also got to provide for changing pattern of food supply. There is a different demand which was not there. Earlier it was a supply driven market for food. Now it is a demand driven market for food because even in the villages, people have started opting for food materials which they never consumed earlier. There has been a general outlook among all people, irrespective of classes, for consumption of food different from what was available traditionally, mere rice and gehu. Even people who are not consuming gehu in our school days have all been depending on gehu in Orisha. Wheat. People who never took fruits have started making it a habit of daily consumption. People who never wanted semi-processed food have started taking semi-processed. Some people even want ready-made cooked food. Regarding the uh, today's discussion, I have fisheries sector to deal with. And in fisheries and the food processing, that's what uh, they were telling. The processing is uh, and value addition is really there very much in the marine fish products. And it is at par or maybe better than many states, even as good as Andhra or maybe better than Andhra. The small, small things are really stopping the growth of the state and the infrastructure. So that all of us, we have to sit down and then in a broader, with a broader vision, sort it out. Like in Damra or anywhere. And in the Paradeep, in the same lines, we are trying to develop. Now the auction hall is more or less, uh, what I say, around 70% ready. And any time, another 20-30%, uh, uh, maybe in another one, two months, we will be making it ready. And we have already formally sent a request letter to concerned departments for developing all the 250 kilometers with the help of RIDF and make it a really a vibrant and useful place for all of us. And somebody can learn from the good infrastructure we built there. Now the European Union people are coming. Everywhere the production, what we are doing right now, it will be not only doubled, it can be tripled also. The production and uh, the productivity of uh, high value crops uh, has already grown. You will find now Odisha is exporting uh, colored capsicum, uh, tomatoes, cherry tomatoes. We are exporting to other states. Already this has started. So now our next session, MD Apicol will be there. So we are going to organize this. See, if you do, uh, our entrepreneurs take up high tech horticulture and we produce large volumes of uh, flowers, we can definitely capture market in Dubai or in Singapore or in the southeastern countries where because our cost of production is low. So for this we have to institutionalize this so that uh, our uh, exports of uh, flowers and high tech uh, uh, vegetables, high quality vegetables increases. Now uh, this processing is another area where you can look at because processing when we are producing so much now processing has to happen and processing industry can benefit out of this. Our agriculture policy has been announced, it is very progressive, lot of subsidies have been given and uh, help is there uh, from the state government also, uh, central government also. So, and this is a new sector I think which uh, industry can look at and when you diversify into production, you can also uh, think of uh, the processing also. So I'll, 
i'll stop here and uh, my co contact details are there any uh, after i spoke to you many of uh, your members came and met me and they have also i think started some of them but still you can visit our website and uh, any help you need we can uh, uh, provide that once you establish this training center and then you get it accredited to national council of vocational training ncvt then for every trainee you train there government gives stipend and training material and cost of training also as on today we bear about uh, i believe uh, something like um, uh, 4000 rupees per month per trainee something like that and then additional funds are always available from livelihood mission from uh, employment mission so there is absolutely no problem to to sum up what we are saying is that just like engineering colleges and polytechnics we will have training centers where you can train rural youth in any of the agri or agri related topics like beekeeping horticulture anything and then you can have a production center we will subsidize the infrastructure and then we will subsidize every training every year we are adding 1000 hectare of uh, area aquaculture area so that 1000 hectare is equivalent to 5000 uh, tons in addition to that the existing areas also the fish production is improving and we are having every year we are getting around 20000 tons to 30000 tons improvement and now because of the recent subsidy of 50% and then a lot of uh, incentives of uh, net boat and what not everything to the fishery sector so we are expecting to get 40000 or more tons added every year in odisha we have to improve the farmers returns from the land so since holdings are very small so we have to focus on high tech uh, horticulture and agriculture so for that horticulture is uh, one of the solutions where uh, farmers can grow high value vegetables do floriculture and get good returns so this has now really picked up in uh, all the districts almost so i think odisha is seeing a very positive change so far as uh, Uh, the returns of the farmers are concerned from the horticulture mr gopalan has said i was also under the impression that by giving 1 rupee uh, uh, food and also other things we are spoiling the uh, labor force carry forward your idea and try to convince those who always tell and slap the government that they are making the entire work force idle thank you sir i thank you you have given a wonderful speech thanks the first session is over food processing agro industries ete apan dekhe apan dietriculture apicol md a one important scientist dean of agriculture means was asle to yaar the food processing got emerging sector government of odisha got a bahut bhala food processing policy karchi amara entrepreneur bahut upakrita hoi pare kishan mela when will participate and ask the farmers say suppose i will give you one part lot to you uh, free of cost so uh, which part will you take the farmers generally they immediately they uh, suggest no sir the riding type which is uh, available in the market this will be very easier to us because it is very this is riding type and will uh, feel comfortable but actually all riding type partners are chinese partners and those who have purchased the partners they are now crying similarly in transplanting we have the number of transplanters and transplanting area if we calculate the transplanting we have achieved only 0.23% mechanized non only the lines in farmers are now nowadays adopting line sowing by rope and guide also by rope method or different methods they are also making line sowing to get the subsidy uh, only this uh, 64619 is the tractor and power tools are 55000 something and these are the sale of different implements and machines your wise and if we they calculate the mechanical level here if we sh there is net sown area is 54.07 lakh hectare and area covered by tractor 
Though the GDP growth has been uh, very high, see, we say we are suffering from uh, inflation. Inflation inflation has never gone be beyond 10% to 11%, but total income increased over the period of 10 years is more than 11%. So our population has been earning more than what inflation has been. So in that context, uh, this uh, inflation has uh, 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 doesn't have much impact on the uh, I mean uh, population. That's what people say. Still, if you see the per capita income, the per capita income of two different community, rich and poor, the population majority of population is earning hardly 35 rupees, 40 rupees a day. That's what the uh, our planning commission is explaining. But at the, uh, uh, at the uh, another hand, the big population is there that is earning more than 50,000 rupees per annum. So if you if you calculate the per uh, per capita income between I mean the, the, uh, of rich and uh, the poor people, you, uh, what you you will find there is a great great variation. I mean huge uh, variation between two groups. If you compare the uh, human development index parameters that is prevailing in slum areas or the in uh, rural areas. You will find these parameters are far, far better in slum area than the rural area. That's why many persons, many people, households, young generation is willing to, is willing to come to the uh, urban areas. And that is true in slum area. And you know these slum areas are the gateway for urban life. The growth of 9.2% GDP growth. Jodagi mostly Apankara industry out <coughs> trade commerce of Chi. Industrial growth Odisare compared to all India average both Valo. Satibai Amara GDP growth with Valoichi. Statistics by Migole Odisa baby can Odisa Otti Gorivara Jatila. But Otti Gorivara Jo Hotta Dani Parivani. Time like you. So Tatabi Amira Amara Jacontu poverty percentage one Jokonti. Extremely poor people or people below poverty line, set up a percentage of Kamuchi. Kintu Amuka Auri on a Kamu Koriorochi, Auri on a Kaguji Barochi, set to end time lagivo. Kintu Ame Udesman Chesta Chalji, Samasan Dora, Government Dora, Industry Dora. Many speakers before me have told that we have to establish agro waste food processing industry. So, what are the technologies, what are the machines, what are the equipment required for establishing such type of agro-based food processing industry in India so that our people can get gainful employment and our farmers who are selling their produce at throwaway price. Sometimes fruits and vegetables which are highly perishable commodities, say when there is a tomato is coming to the market, they are selling tomato at very low prices, sometimes 4 rupees, 5 rupees and they are not getting proper prices. So many farmers are saying giving an option 70% farmer will leave the agriculture because agriculture is not remunerable, not profitable. So by value addition, it is possible to make it more profitable. I would like to uh, bring to your notice that there are different sites in the agriculture department uh, where all the information is available but not at one place. But we are trying to see what we can do about it. We have already started in Apicola entrepreneurship facilitation cell. We are getting a lot of email inquiries on that. So we will try to make it more robust and proactive in future. Uh, the theme for today's uh, discussion was about uh, mechanization in agriculture and we saw the opportunities and the challenges in that uh, Director of Agriculture gave a very good insight as to how agriculture should be viewed in future. He also spoke about green technology parks which, uh, which is a great opportunity for uh, members of this chamber to exploit and some of the issues which has been raised by the industry and by the chamber regarding uh, handling the operating cost in a commercial agri venture is also under active consideration credit flows to the agriculture sector i think uh, the government and uh, the important functionaries of the government are uh, doing their best to sensitize the bankers to be more uh, proactive and uh, more uh, uh, sympathetic towards uh, credit flows in the agriculture sector. I think Sir was also, uh, Director of Agriculture was also pointing obliquely towards that when he said that uh, the industry and other sectors 
who are um, in a way influencing the agriculture sector should be more open towards giving uh, more credit to farmers and giving them more remunerative prizes. So that is the way things will move. With these words, I would uh, thank the members for giving us an opportunity to deliberate on this agri sector. And thank you very much for coming and wish you all the best. And then I'll request Mr. Rajan Pani for a vote of thanks. I also thank the people from the press and media. I thank the support of the UCCI and the person who I personally missed out. This is the deliberation of a director, Mr. Gopalan. So I'm waiting for the next opportunity to see you forward. मॉडर्न टेक्नोलॉजी में आजकल बहुत सारी ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजीज आई हैं जिसमें कि आप जो हमारी पुरानी पद्धतियां हैं उनको बदल करके नई पद्धतियों का इस्तेमाल करके उत्पादन को बढ़ाया जा सकता है जैसे कि पॉलीकल्चर है प्लास्टिक कल्चर है ड्रिप इरिगेशन है माइक्रो इरिगेशन है इसके अलावा बायोटेक्नोलॉजी है टिशू कल्चर प्लांट है और न्यूट्रिय मैनेजमेंट है इंसेक्ट पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट है इस तरीके से बहुत सारी टेक्नोलॉजी हमारे एग्रीकल्चर सेक्टर में हॉर्टिकल्चर सेक्टर में आई हैं जिनका उपयोग करके किसान भाई लोग अच्छा उसका उत्पादन ले सकते हैं और अच्छा फायदा कमा सकते हैं Odisha is lacking in the food processing sector, but now we are uh, doing a lot of work has already been done. A modern uh, oil extraction plant has already been established of capacity 150 tons per hour has already been established in Sambalpur. From that we are getting 30 tons of uh, bran oil per day. So uh, we are now trying to develop such type of equipment and uh, agro-based food processing industry in many areas in Odisha.